Buenos dias, maestro. Good to see you. Buenos Welcome dias. back to Pittsburgh, Juan Jomena. Big you, pleasure for me. You've come just from rehearsal. Yep. How did it go this morning? Uh, this morning was a uh, soak only. I was waiting for the soak. Uh, uh, I entered and the orchestra was there and the sound in the first phrases of the rehearsal was spectacular. I just said, yes, this is the sound that is there. <clears throat> then the sound that create this atmosphere, the, the, this quality, this level. Um, uh, I, 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 no, I have no, no doubts about to have this here. No? Pittsburgh is an amazing instrument. And also the relation with them is, is better than, than never. And, and, and I am very, very happy. There are some real special rarities on this program. We've never had the Hinastera Concerto before with Hilary Hahn and Maestro James Lee III, his Sukkot through Orion's Nebula. What does it mean? Okay, this is a, a, a joy, um, a joy uh, sing for, for the people that than half uh, clean and half uh, the, the the bodies the pena the the uh, the, the what do you say uh, how how does he say in, the, in the penas like to say uh, mm, that that they have they have been problems but now they don't have and they are very happy and it's a uh, it's a joy for for all of us to try to 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 have. Uh, Mm, for this, the sound of the, of the pieces is enormous, terrible, with a lot of brass, uh, very demanding uh, strings. Um, and this is a, a piece that I did quite often. I did, I think, two or four f times in America, um, and, uh, and always with good success, yeah. I'm very much looking forward to hearing it. And I understand the composer is coming. He, he will visit yeah, yeah. to take a bow. Yeah, always, always he did this, and I appreciate it a lot. We have Hilary Hahn with the Carmen Fantasy and the Hinastera. The, the Hinastera will be new to most everybody, don't you think? Yes, for all of us. <laughs> yeah, um, but but not for Hilary. That is the important thing. No? I think um, the problem with this concerto uh, was that they need an amazing violinist to do it because it's very, very, very complex uh, about the, all the three, four different voices at the same time, uh, the tensions, the, the, the color, the, the power that must have. Uh, and it's very, very demanding concerto. And, and you need a, a queen. You need a, the queen of the violinist here. And I think Hilary is the queen of, of, the, of the violinist, all people. My, my daughter love, <laughs> love her, you know. I, I never was with her. <laughs> uh, but, uh, and, and, and this is a... Uh, I am trying to, you know, with the Spanish music, or with the, this type of things that I bring also to this country when I started years ago here, you know, with to have always a feeling to share something with another different things. Um, and always uh, I did a lot of uh, Ginastera works. I, I have a lot of recordings, also the piano concerto, and it's also very complex, quasi the, at the same time of this violin concerto. But this violin concerto uh, was never done because was no people and was able to do it. <laughs> but now America have this this amazing lady that that that, that is incredible what 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 he he will do. No, and tomorrow she will be here, and we will start to 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 do it. I I learn a lot of I did uh, several times a lot of attention to the concerto. I know very well what I. What I want and what he she want also, um, but this uh, I for me uh, this is a, a very important uh, thing uh, um, recognizing the the what is the ideas of Ginastera in the to be as uh, as composer no, and with all this money and all this. Uh, fire force within in, in, in Argentina because he, he was the king there of with all the music uh, was all all the things beautiful things um, um, what happened uh, is that uh, that he decided to across this line of the of the populism or, or, or the you know the all these things that, that to do always the same the folklore and the folklore nobody say okay we'll search more things out of the folklore in uh, music, then I think I can learn in another country. 
and he came back here to America. And he was studying a lot with Bernstein, studying a lot with a lot of, a lot of uh, fantastic uh, composers that has been in this, in, this, in this country. And he decided to do this, and he go across to the dodecaphonic, to the, all these things. But uh, uh, the question of the violin concerto is that it's very, very strong, but it's not this feeling that say, well, this is boring, you know, it's not interested, you know. It's this interest will be there because Hillary will be there killing all of us and working so hard with all of us to, to have an amazing, amazing concert. How did you first become so enthusiastic about Hina Stara's music. You've now recorded all these volumes of Hina Stara for the Shandos mm -hmm. label. You are totally steeped in his world. You must have met people who knew him in the yeah. family. And yeah. I knew the, uh, her, her wife, that was uh, Anatola, uh, was a cellist. And also I know this, uh, this coincidence uh, because uh, I, I was with her because some of the one best uh, cellists in Spain uh, want to, to buy this cello that was a special cello for, for, for Anatola, for the wife. And, 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 and we did some meetings and some things, and I was helping this man to try to enter in the, and to, to know, you know. Uh, but uh, I think uh, I am doing this with this thing with uh, Ginastera because I think it's, uh, it's necessary to say thanks for all all the things, all the, all the, all the center, of the quality in your ideas uh, to make music. I can't wait to hear it. Carmen, we hear his beautiful tunes in the Carmen fantasy and in Franz Faxman's film music, Sarasate uh, created the fantastic arrangement. Uh, this is music that every Spaniard must love, even though it's written by a Frenchman. Yeah. Uh, the question is that also Hillary have a very good Spanish <laughs> find to start in entering this type of music, you know, and see it's spectacular, no, no, nothing to say, uh, because uh, have quality, the sound is spectacular, uh, um, and he can, she can do what he wants. Have you conducted the opera? Uh, Carmen, no, no, no. I, I did uh, more all this. Uh, uh, Strauss, uh, Strauss uh, operas, uh, all of them, and, and and also Wagner and so on, and other and other things. But but no 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 Carmen. Carmen is very difficult because you must have a very very good uh, singers, and that is not so easy. It is the most popular opera of all. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It depends about what people think uh, about uh, what what they are listening. No. Uh, I think, yes, Trudan is a very spectacular opera, of course, and, and to have uh, Hillary making all this, uh, all, this trans all this connection also at the same time with, uh, with uh, um, composer uh, about uh, Ginastera, sorry. Uh, this close relation with with Ginastera, no, and and this uh, this attitude to say I want to do this, no, because I know it's very difficult, but I can do it, and I I will do it as best as possible. And I, I, I this is, there is some recordings. Uh, I am not so happy with all of them, uh, but uh, but I think uh, she is very close to the what must be, and I am here, and also in two weeks in in. In, in in Europe, uh, to came back to do in, in New York uh, this concerto of Ginastera, because it was made for this uh, New York Philharmonic when they created the, the Haber Fischer Hall. This was one of the of the, of the concertos that were created or paid to make. Uh, for to, to, to put this music in, 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 this, in this level. And, and now, uh, I don't know how many years uh, later, I, ar I arrive uh, to do this with New York Phil in the, in the Giffen Hall, that is a new hall. Now, the, same, the same character, you understand me? Uh, uh, Hillary will do this 
um, and and, that, and this will be also a, a, a good present for the for the new hall, Giffen Hall, and it's fantastic now. It's much better than, than ever, and, and I think it's uh, very interesting. Is is was this the concert with your Teatro Real? Aren't you bringing the orchestra? Yes, I did in the past. Uh, yeah, I did Giffen Hall exactly. Uh, but uh, I was with the Real Theatre Orchestra, yeah, that is an uh, incredible orchestra, and and yes, and was very very successful. Is okay. It's it's, it's so amazing to if you remember now the sound of this hall, a very official hall, and now this they say okay, this is another completely. So they've fixed the acoustics in the hall in New York City at so, last. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's fun to see it's too awesome. the uh, stars in the ceiling and everything. Yeah, yeah, and there's yeah. a bit of theater there. Yeah. Well, this is a, a fabulous program that you've brought us to Pittsburgh. You mentioned when we sat down that you've been very busy. You're having a wild and crazy season this year. And, and then we have the May Festival in Cincinnati, yes? Yes, uh, uh, I did uh, last, last, last year, you know, uh, the, my, my, my finish uh, with the May Festival in the anniversary. Uh, my son has been an uh, uh, accident. Uh, and was in the hospital the day that I was supposed to be do Mahler 9 then I was needing to cancel because yeah. uh, I was needing to go there um, and now is yeah I, I have some doubt depths with uh, with the Cincinnati yes I must come back there and I see you also there <laughs> <laughs> Well, I've heard only good things about the work that you did with yeah, the with yeah. the festival there. That's for sure. Yeah, I hope the future will be also fantastic. I w don't remember if I've ever asked you about your beginnings. You were in the northern Spain as a young man. Was it Vitoria, at the, yeah, uh, the Vitoria, Basque country? Vitoria, yeah, Vitoria is the capital of the Basque country. Uh, it's strange because San Sebastian is more new. More uh, people know more uh, San Sebastian or Bilbao. A Bilbao is Guggenheim Museum, Guggenheim Museum. We have a, a, a good one that we we did there in in the in the Bilbao, and and at the same time uh, the relation the relation for me there is as I, I was born in in Vitoria, that is the capital of the Basque Country, um, and I live in uh, 16 kilometers to the city uh, in a beautiful. Reservoir with the mountains, with uh, snow, with uh, this is a paradise, and it's, it's a place that I love, and, uh, and I was born there. Um, when all these problems with the Franco area, with the ETA, with all these terrorist people would disappear, now we are a moment that that all is done, all is finished, all these bad things are no more in the in the picture. And I think we are now in another different level. Vittoria, this is the famous place where Beethoven commemorated with Wellington's victory, and there's a big exactly. statue in the middle of town. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's amazing in the in the center of the on the cloud. And also, if you go there for in August in four, for August in four in the, in the day four, is a big part in the city. And you can imagine this 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 place how, I don't know, 30,000 people or something in, in one space, okay, uh, uh, starting the, the party of the city and, and enjoy and dancing and, and singing and drinking and, you know, and, and be open to the life. So you have been there for the festival? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On many occasions? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, was, I was there. I was, I was uh, born with this. In my, in my, my father took me when I was two years old to, the, to this place. Yeah. It happens every year in August. This is La Virgen Blanca? Barca, Virgen Blanca. La Virgen yeah. Blanca, sí. And, and what is it commemorating? What, what, what it's happened? Called, it's that, called the commemoration of, of the end of Napoleon in Spain. It was the last place when Napoleon was able to put the, the feet, you know. So there is a, a rag doll that is part of the proceedings. <laughs> Comes down on a wire from, I guess, a, where? From above the statue? Exactly, for the top in the, in the church. Uh, it's a, a, a line. Then take the, the, the celedon, is the person, go down from the up in the cathedral to the center of the, of, the, of the place, you know. 
and it's spectacular. All people cry, you know, people, uh, you know, this is very, very, very interesting. And the rag doll becomes a person, Celadon. Exactly, and when uh, all people is waiting, this Celadon, Celadon, and the, uh, a man open the door and say, I am here, you know, and this, I know people is crazy. And everyone splashes champagne on themselves. And two weeks of party. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in August. In August. Oh, yeah. my. I must go there sometime to, go there. to be part of this amazing yeah, thing go. that you have participated in personally. Uh, you must go to me. <laughs> to me. Wonderful. Oh, any other news that I should know? Recordings that are coming? Uh, things that you're loving? And, yeah. Uh, yeah, there is... Uh, there is a, a work yeah, that we, we, uh, we, we did in the past, uh, some discs that now they are uh, uh, arriving. Um, but also they, they, I, I am doing now a lot of re recordings too. I am doing with James Ennis a, a wonderful recording of, of the, also the Carmen and all this music, Spanish music, uh, music of Saint Sense. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, also, there's the, the concertos of, 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 of uh, Saint-Saëns. Um, and, yeah, and, and at the same time, yeah, the, the BBC sometimes called to me to say, hey, why not to do this? And we, we did some projects, interesting projects. The BBC is incredible. And, and, and now, uh, I think after the pandemic, then it was very, very difficult, all the things there, with, the, with the, all, the, all the things that happened, with the politics, all these things. I still uh, say thanks to them, because I learned a lot with them. If you will allow me to make a personal observation, we recently had Pablo Herras Casado here, and many years ago I met uh, Jesus Lopez Cobos, I had the chance to meet Rafael Frubeck de Burgos on mm. several occasions, and we loved him so much. But there is a common personality trait between you all. You have such joy in, in music <laughs> making. Is this sunny Spain that we think of, the sunshine in the country of Spain? I don't know. I think, I feel that I, am, uh, I have, uh, what to say, uh, something very easy in, in, my, in my life. I, I am I'm happy, very happy. I love to do music, uh, and I, I, I am able to do it in the best positions now, no? uh, with a lot of projects and with a lot of doors open, and we will see what happens in the future. Well, I guess you've answered my final question. I, I wanted to ask, why do you love doing what you do so much? You get to share the culture of your country and to bring joy into the the world here at Heinz Hall, but everywhere you go. Why, why, why in your mind do you love, because it's also very hard work. It's not easy to travel. It's exhausting. It's true, it's true. It's true, the traveling is the problem yeah, in general. No? But for the rest of this, uh, this for this uh, profession, I am, I am really, uh, what to say, I, I, can know, I can say nothing bad about, about to be conductor, you know, uh, uh, you are in, in, the, in, in front of you is the music and, and open your eyes, open your brains, uh, you know, you can be and, and change also the vision about attitudes or the bad things or the, no, no, it's not so bad, no, it's not so good. You know, I think it's, it's very easy to, to be a musician uh, or sincere musician with a center uh, that is so important not to lose the center. Uh, and I think, uh, um, it's maybe for this then, then I am very happy with what I am doing. Maestro, Juan Jomena, please return soon. What a treat to speak with you. Thank you. It was a pleasure for me to have you. Mm -hmm.